Well, it's a new exhibit at the Adler Planetarium where you can follow a preteen on a visual journey through the multiverse. And Tim is showing us what we can expect to see. Tim, there's the multiverse. You're going to explain that. I mean, kind of some things I don't think we've ever heard before. Right. I don't know if I can explain it, but this movie that you're about to see a little preview of, it explains it for sure. Yeah, there's a lot of concepts in here, but they bring it down to a kid's level and they make it fascinating to watch. Here, Mike Small is here with the Adler Planetarium. Thanks for joining us today. I appreciate you're it. You're welcome. I, I said before, it kind of feels like that Siskel and Ebert show. Uh, I'm going to be Ebert because he won the Pulitzer, so if you don't mind. You're going to be Siskel. Fine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this, this is awesome. You've given me a preview here, and it really, when you say immersive, it really is because I looked at it in about 10 seconds. I was like a little disoriented. You've done a great job with this. How long did yeah. it take to come up with this and actually put it into fruition? Uh, the entire, I mean, the entire process, uh, four pushing five years. The the first sort of planning meetings we had was end of 2019, early 2020, about what our next production would be. We pitched around some different concepts. Multiversals was one of them, uh, and then it was uh, 2021. We got kind of funding lined up to to produce the show, and to make work, we reached out to a couple of local creatives, mm -hmm. Taylor Witten, Natasha Womack, who we've collaborated with on some past events, and asked them if they would be interested in tackling the script for the show. And so they co-wrote this uh, incredible story. They latched onto the multiverse idea pretty quickly yeah. uh, and uh, wove it together in this uh, sort of Afrofuturist narrative and aesthetic and uh, some heavy kind of comic styling. So, and, and they're two of like 40 people across five continents that put this together is about a million dollar production, right? Yeah, a, a huge effort because what, what we wanted to do is to, to really bring this to, to, to take the story that they wrote and to, to bring it to life authentically and accurately. We have the scientific expertise and we actually brought in some theoretical physicists and cosmologists who don't work here at the Adler to help advise on content as well as our own Adler astronomers. But then to, you know, we don't have any comic artists. We don't have any Afrofuturist artists here at right. the Adler. So it was important to us. We needed to reach out to get the people to make the show who could do this. Uh, so we had a pair, you know, uh, Jury Stein in Ghana is a UK-based artist who did this uh, Dogon Kananga mask. We had a separate artist who did the scene here. So multiple people bringing it together, stitching all that work together in this unique immersive space that we do well. And it's really quickly, it's about Naya and the multiverse. So it's Naya and different kind of scenarios, different universes that she could exist in. Exactly. Naya is the main character. She's a preteen from Chicago. She's learning about her place in the universe, her past, her history, her family, but then also these sort of future possibilities and future opportunities that could include multiple universes. And we get into some of those theories as well. All right. If you want to find out more about ticket prices and show times, go to adlerplanetarium.org. And in this universe, guys, I'm Tim McGill. I'm not Jake Hamilton. Maybe the next universe <laughs> I'll be lucky enough to be him. He's so suave and debonair and a lot of hair. Back yeah. to you guys. <laughs> you know, I like you just the way you are, Tim. I think you are unique Thank and wonderful. You. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank Chicago you. winters can feel never-ending, but we're finding ways to beat the winter.